Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Dr. Tapati's presentation. Myself Dr. Tapati Vansudev. Today, topic of the presentation is Enzymes as Analytical Tools. The specificity and sensitivity of enzymes make them a valuable analytical tool for the detection and quantification of various constituents in a sample such as food, medicine, body fluid, etc. Conventional analytical methods are tedious and time consuming. Enzymatic analysis shows considerable promise for attaining analytical information in a cheaper, simpler and faster manner in comparison with conventional assays. It has a wide range of applications. Any substances related to enzyme reactions such as enzyme substrates, cofactors and even enzyme inhibitors can be analyzed by these method. Enzymes can be used as reagents as well as labels for analytical purpose. First of all, let's talk about enzymes as analytical reagents. In my last two videos, I have discussed about diagnostic importance of enzymes and therapeutic uses of enzymes. In those videos already, I have mentioned that Enzyme activities are estimated for the diagnosis and management of various diseases. Enzymes are also widely used in the clinical laboratories uh, as reagents for the estimation of serum constituents. Like glucose oxidase and peroxidase enzyme activities uh, are uh, measured in order to estimate glucose content present in serum. Uricase and urease enzyme activities are measured in order to check uric acid content and urea content present in serum. Lactic dehydrogenase enzyme activity is uh, estimated in order to measure lactate content present in blood uh, as well as if you consider about the alcohol dehydrogenase activity uh, through measurement of uh, this enzyme activity, um, ethanol content can be measured. Cholesterol oxidase and peroxidase activities uh, can be uh, used, uh, activity can be measured in order to check cholesterol content present in serum. Lipase, glycerol kinase, glycerol phosphate dehydrogen enzyme, enzyme activities are checked in order to estimate triacylglycerol content present in serum. Hexokinase and glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme activities are checked in order to estimate glucose, fructose, mannose, ATP and creatine kinase present in serum. Enzymes are also used as reagents for various food analysis. Uh, enzymatic food analysis involves uh, estimation of food components uh, which can be both uh, substrates or inhibitors of enzyme and uh, determination of enzyme activity for food quality control. Glucose oxidase, hexokinase, glucose uh, peroxidase and glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme activities are estimated in order to check glucose content present in the food, uh, food material. Hexokinase, glucose 6-phosphate isomerase, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme activities uh, are estimated in order to check fructose content. Sorbitol dehydrogenase enzyme activity is measured in order to check sorbitol content present in food. Alpha glucosidase enzyme activity is measured in order to check maltose content. Galactose dehydrogenase enzyme activity is checked in order to measure galactose content. Mm. Amyloglucosidase and alpha amylase activities are measured in order to check starch content present in food material. Alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme activity is measured in order to estimate ethanol content. Uh, glycerol kinase, pyruvate kinase, lactate dehydrogenase enzyme activities are measured in order to uh, estimate glycerol content present in food. Lactate dehydrogenase enzyme activity is estimated in order to check lactate content and uh, malate dehydrogenase enzyme activity is measured in order to check malate content. Amino acid decarboxylase enzyme is estimated in order to check amino acids content present in the food material. It's a few other names of enzymes which are used in food quality control. Alkaline phosphatase and renate enzyme activities are measured 
for the quality control of milk and other dairy products. And finally, activity is measured in order to check cereal and cereal products quality. Pectin methyl ester is enzyme activity is checked uh, for the quality control of fruit juices. Peroxidase enzyme activity is measured uh, for the quality control of vegetables. Most of the enzyme assays are based on spectrophotometric techniques with the two dominant types being absorption and fluorescence. The spectrophotometric assay is a classical enzymatic test which remains as the most widely used assay for the lowest cost. All the steps involved are manual and lead to inconsistent results. This method is suitable when analyzing a few samples or enzyme type routine operations. Enzyme assays based on, multi, uh, based on photometry and fluorometry, multi well format microplate offers a high throughput alternative to the traditional spectrophotometers. Nowadays, fully automated enzyme assay systems are available which can efficiently manage various enzymes and measuring conditions all in a single instrument that offer consistent and reliable performance. Enzymes are also used in the uh, labels in various immunoassays for the estimation of serum level of drugs, hormones, antibiotics and other compounds. Enzyme labeled immunization or in enzyme immunoassay or enzyme linked immunosorbent assay that is EIA or ELISA is a highly specific and sensitive analytical method that combines the specificity of immunology and efficient catalytic binding of enzymes organically. Enzyme immunoassay compared with immunofluorescence or radio immunoassay has following advantages. No need of special and complicated equipment and instruments, high sensitivity, good, reprodu uh, uh, good reproducibility and harmless to health. The most common enzyme levels are glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, alkaline phosphatase or ALP, beta-galactosidase, horseradase, peroxidase enzyme. Various detection techniques have been used for enzyme labels, including colorimetric assays, fluorogenic assays, and more sensitive chemiluminescent assays. The basic principle of ELISA is to detect a specific antibody antigen reaction by using an enzyme which can convert a colorless substrate to a colored product indicating the presence of antibody antigen binding. This is commonly used to measure antibodies, antigens, proteins and glycoproteins in biological samples. There are four types of ELISA technique, uh, direct ELISA, indirect ELISA, sandwich ELISA and competitive ELISA. I am going to make separate video on ELISA. I will discuss in detail about these four ELISA techniques in that video. Biosensors are analytical devices used to measure the concentration of analytes in a sample. Enzymes play a crucial role in biosensors. In an enzyme based biosensor, the enzyme is utilized as the recognition element and is immobilized on or within the support matrix on the transducer surface in order to maintain enzyme activity. The basic principle behind enzyme based biosensors is that the enzyme catalyzes a reaction between the analyte and a specific substrate producing a measurable signal. This signal can be electrical, optical or electrochemical depending on the detection mechanism employed by the biosensor. These biosensors find extens uh, extensive applications in various fields including healthcare, environmental monitoring, food safety and biotechnology. They are used for detecting biomarkers, monitoring glucose levels in diabetes management, 
detecting pollutants in the environment and analyzing food quality among other applications. Enzyme-based biosensors offer several advantages. They are highly specific as enzymes can selectively recognize and interact with their target analytes. Additionally, enzymes typically exhibit high catalytic activity enabling sensitive detection of analytes at low concentrations. A number of enzyme biosensors have been constructed and used for the diagnosis of a wide array of diseases. Enzymes used in biosensors can vary depending on the targeted uh, analyte. Each enzyme has specific properties and catalytic capabilities, making them suitable for the application. Some common, commonly used enzymes include arsenalidase peroxidase, glucose oxidase, and lacase. The trend of enzymatic analysis development is showing promising advancement in various fields. One emerging area is the use of flow biocatalysis, uh, where enzymes are immobilized or co-immobilized through different approaches. Integration of enzymes within flow technology has been demonstrated to improve the biocatalyst performance and to generate highly productive biotransformations. The layout of flow systems overcomes some typical constraints of batch enzymatic reactions like uh, long reaction times, catalyst concentrations, scalability issues, risk of product variation from batch to batch. This approach has potential applications in areas like uh, pharmaceuticals, biotechnology, and chemical synthesis. Test strips are a simple, effective, and low-cost analytical tool used for the rapid detection of an analyte in the field, uh, in the field or on site. A test strip is a band or piece or strip of paper or other material used for biological testing. Additionally, there is a growing trend of using nanozymes as alternatives to biological enzymes in food analysis. Nanozymes offer advantages such as stability, scalability, and cost effectiveness. Thank you very much for watching this video. Kindly like, share, and subscribe this channel.